All right, good evening and welcome to Saloon Decides 2023. Um, as a nation, we still continue for make decisions and with regards people them, we for continue for lead this country and shape the governance structure of Saloon. Um, my name is Samuel Wise Bangura. This I, um, we could just end, we witness the sixth parliament, members that subscribe to the oath and also um, elect um, speaker, Honorable Dr. Abbas Cherno Bundu. After we then be elected in 2018, for be the speaker of the fifth parliament, they also the elect them as um, the speaker for the sixth parliament. We also see Usai, um, Honorable Mohammed Bangurabi go against the party in position, say they're not for um, participating in any state governance, but then Honorable Mohammed Bangurabi mm -hmm. get for going the well. And subscribe to the oath, as he say in a dandy in constitution, ask him for do. We go come and talk about all of these things, and we also don't witness who say the president continue for appoint people them we if we say go help him for achieve the proposal we be done put forward to salon people them for the next five years. But as always, we can bring people in I am, we can help we for shape the conversation, for analyze the issues, and um, look at how we for move things forward as a, as a people and as a nation. With me in the studio, I get Reverend Jimila Kabo, Reverend Nadi, um, Director of Communications, Nadi National Commission for Democracy. Reverend, good evening, and thank you for coming. Good evening, also, thanks for hosting me. All right, so get. Um, Honorable Ibrahim Tawa Conte, where they represent the Western Urban, the city. Um, so I didn't have one a constituency, one three two, where they represent. <laughs> well, now not the, not the district, the entire district now. Good evening, Honorable Tawa, and congratulations on your re election. Thank you. Good evening, Samuel. Good evening, Celia. Right. So, also get um, lawyer Rashid Dumbuya, in mm. the executive director for Legal Link. Um, lawyer Rashid, good evening, and um, thank you for coming. Um, I'm glad for the today. Um, Say thank you and also AYB for inviting me. God bless. All right. We also get plenty of people we the follow you right now on with different social media platforms, especially the AYV News Facebook page, who say you get the opportunity for be part of the conversation, drop your comment, drop your thoughts, ask your questions. Um, the plea we're making is that um, you just tailor your comments or your messages to the issues being discussed. And so now we watch we on Channel 53. Uh, on DSTV channel 399, listening um, to we on FM 101.7, on are all welcome um, tonight. We're looking at the state of governance, the current state of affairs. So um, make a start off with you, um, Reverend, if you'd like for obvious reasons. Um, you come out from the permanent outfit. We the guide and guard Salon Democracy. So first of all, we look at um, and also we've been discussed the build-up of um, the inauguration of the sixth parliament. And now it's the, the, the sixth parliament has been inaugurated. We don't see some members that don't subscribe to the oath, Parliament chief members, SLPP members, and Honorable Mohammed Bangura from the APC. And now, even in participation, now we don't suicide the party, they don't in initiate disciplinary measures against um, in action, we go against the party in position. We don't see appointments of cabinet ministers and other heads of parastatals by President Julius Madabu in accordance with the 1991 constitution. So if we are to put into context the current state of governance, taking into consideration particularly the legislature and the executive, who shall we go put governance? Um, well, again, plenty thank you for this big opportunity for make we self add the voice to the governance discussion of a country. Of course, you'd expect, say, within the context of a democracy, um, certain things and for the happen. And um, we, from that particular framework, they will see the whole election, and then they'll announce people and we, as electorates, we elect mm -hmm. from the president, members of parliament, mayors. Um, chairman of these streets, even councillors. You'd expect, say, after that kind of um, engagement day, mm -hmm. the next step that for make them go into the various structures and institutions and begin for work for the country. Of course, that is what we see happening 
with um, Parliament calling the members say when I come um, following the due process mm -hmm. when I take the oath say when our parliamentarians them and of course we know say things then could begin to happen mm -hmm. especially when you consider the fact that the president don't um, kind of nominates people eh? we for occupy certain offices but we know say how we governance architecture day where the government in say this I want you get a body where the, the, the people's own um, representative, mm -hmm. where they come and say, okay, Mr. President, we approve mm -hmm. this one, no, we'll get question mark with this. Right. So that for, like, vet uh, um, the people and wait for come and lead with, so that mm -hmm. we're, not, we're not get into any problems, because p Parliament gets a significant function. Mm -hmm. Who say, them for, first of all, do background check, so the people and wait for come and occupy offices, the executive arm. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you know, say uh, within the context of governance, we talk about the issue of um, separation of powers, checks and balances. Yeah. Now all of them things and they happen now. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, they happen within a context. You you mentioned the fact say, um, SAPP members them they don't take their own oath. Mm -hmm. One person from the <laughs> APC. APC joining, of course you of course also. Now you need to make them clear, say, mm -hmm. they don't initiate some kind of action right. against that person because they make a decision mm -hmm. as a party, say, they're not a join in the governance of the state. Mm -hmm. Wait for me, it, it, it gets a serious problem in terms of um, uh, um, what you would call making sure, say, we get, we'll be able to build consensus, mm -hmm. we get legitimacy in the governance processes. We don't want that situation, we say, um, in 73, mm -hmm. SLPP boycotted even the elections. They don't even take part. They boycotted mm -hmm. elections, and we know what really happened in our country. Mm -hmm. For that period, 73 to, um, well, 77, of course, 78, we know, we know what happened in our country. Mm -hmm. There was one party state. When you get that kind of situation, they the first time. In the coin, in the coin dispensation, you will don't understand the democratic history of this country. Mm -hmm. You get for be worried. You get for be concerned. Right. And as somebody who they work for um, the National Commission for Democracy, now a concern we would only raise regularly and constantly, mm -hmm. asking with politicians and say, we need all of them for make conscious effort, for make we push we country in democracy go before. Mm -hmm. Because this not a one man business. I can recall recently. Probably two weeks ago, we hold we, we, a um, citizens platform for political tolerance meeting. Mm -hmm. And this was what, what the chairman of the commission say. He say one party no go able to run this country successfully. So meaning say we need all of the political players there mm -hmm. for make them come together. Yes, you may have your grievance, you may have your concerns, but we still for look for ways and means how we for redress them. Mm -hmm. And we know say, within the context of a governance structure, one means by which you resolve issues, not, not the legal channel. But if you still refuse for use the legal channel, we believe, say, we can also use the political channel mm -hmm. for address the concerns them. Right. Um, let's, let's note this. This is where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. There is this expression where I want to make we take note of. They can say, Politics to precede legality. Before you first, if you even go first, go first in a court. Mm -hmm. First of all, sit down at the table and try for this course. Waiting don't go wrong. Mm -hmm. And I want to make we, we, we undertake this on the premise say, yeah. things have gone wrong. Everybody don't complain. So it's now time as a nation, mm -hmm. we, we, we do some level of introspection. Mm -hmm. We sit down, face each other. If, if, if today we talk about peace, it is simply because something they would undermine the peace of the country. If Nazi don't mean they would undermine the peace, we don't have to talk about peace now, mm -hmm. or even reconciliation. Right. But let's note this. We cannot, mm -hmm. we cannot right. talk about reconciliation without first of all establishing the truth. And that is why even after we war, mm -hmm. when we decide, say, we could look into what happened, it was called the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, People came from different places. Udaka gave evidence. Udaka talk. At the end of the day, the issue was resolved. Right. But now we get um, a body of record 
what they tell me, what in cause the war, uh, um, how we fed the war, mm -hmm. what in are the, are the, the consequence or outcome of it. I think even at a time like this, mm -hmm. we need that kind of situation. That if we cannot solve our problems uh, um, legally, let's solve them politically. Right. Let's sit and talk. Okay. We are not strangers, say, na, na us versus them. Mm -hmm. We are talking about Sierra Leoneans. Mm -hmm. And we get a big responsibility for make we all come around the table, even when we go with different systems, when we still able to face each other and talk about what in the happen. Right. Everybody has a complaint. We we'll, would we'll come, we'll come to look at um, whether or not we... I mean, the political class can actually meet um, at the table and get some of the issues addressed. Let like get um, the opening remark from Honorable Ibrahim Tawa Conte on the premise that, um, like I start off earlier, I congratulate you for your re-election um, to Parliament. And we still say we don't subscribe to the oath and we don't elect the speaker. Uh, unfortunately for the Honorable Cheno Abbas in 2018, the APC also. Not be not, not been there for elector or speaker. This time again, not, not day. But but now with waiting done the happen with the current uh, makeup of parliament without the APC. What does that present for good governance for democracy in the country? Uh, thank you very much, Samia. You know every state guided by certain documents. Mm -hmm. The constitution are one. And the constitution are nine are the main creature where they give birth to other subsidiary legislations. Mm -hmm. And then legislations, then they set up institutions, they set up structures, and mm -hmm. then structures and then are part of the state infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Like um, Reverend, they represent the National Commission for Democracy. I think one of the oldest can always remember when I be small, I remember George College Taylor, mm -hmm. always on television, SLBS, they talk about National Commission for Democracy. You know, the truth now that the Constitution not make provision as to whether the Constitution of Parliament, when it comes to quorum for decide what in Parliament they do, mm -hmm. whether it provides for one single party for form quorum or a multiplicity of parties the way they go don't elect for day at a time for form quorum. Mm -hmm. Equally, you see the Constitution, it go further for talk about uh, uh, two thoughts mm. when it comes to section 79, yeah. when it comes to the election of the speaker, where it say two thoughts, it say two thoughts of all members of parliament elect. Mm -hmm. Why? Because 83, we give parliament the right for someone, members of parliament, for subscribe the oaths, mm -hmm. makes provision for um, unavoidable circumstances where standing order 1A also notes for say circumstances go day. Mm -hmm. We go make the member of parliament able for subscribe the oath. But however, that circumstance you not know, prevent them for take part in the election of the speaker. Mm -hmm. But now the only uh, 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 exception where the constitution make for a member of parliament to not subscribe the oath for participate okay. in the affairs of parliament. Mm -hmm. What's that so, circumstance? But is there a specific it, 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 situation? It, it, the circumstance is, vague. It's just ambiguous. It's just say unavoidable. Right. Now uh, standing on the one a naive, mm -hmm. explain that one the naive mm -hmm. suffice right. and support. Uh, section 83. Mm -hmm. Now, the APC not coming and the APC not taking part in governance. Also, it, it got for be something we for worry them, like I say, now the chamber. Mm -hmm. Because nobody in the government will go to parliament, otherwise, we all for them be parliamentarian. For let you be parliamentarian, people them in the communities, people them in the districts, people them in the constituency today will get for wake up one morning. Mm. Throughout some period of one month, depending on whose period the state now the, the, by the election body, for go register. Then people don't register done. Then get for call them back after two, three months. Say, when I can go make line back for go collect the voter ID card. But then people collect the voter ID card. All that three to six months, maximum six months, then get for call them say, when I can go vote. So, man, if they cook the day preceding the election, because if they go to the, the, the election center for go join the queue 12 a.m. So man, they go to 1 a.m. So you owe that obligation to them for no say it doesn't matter what is the outcome of the process. Like we even say, you can either challenge it legally or you challenge it politically. But what do you go add to what you even say? Now that reasonability 
now the watchword when it comes to embodying the constitution, the other legislations, because the people will vote for me. Mm -hmm. They call the honor you Then get rights for see you say you advocate for them. Mm -hmm. Particularly when I in this state now. Now I still don't assume I just one out of sixteen other members of parliament who they represent West Urban District. So assuming I decide for stay away, it doesn't prevent the activities of West Urban District carrying on. It's the same. Now that one day, section 943 of the constitution envisage. We make it provide say the non-participation of persons where either you are directly elected or somehow mm -hmm. gets for do with decision making. No, they invalidate the actions of government. What means say if APC not come, mm -hmm. the SLPP and the Parliament Chief can still go in the parliaments, then discuss, they make laws, then laws then they unfortunately, except when it comes to constitutional matters. Now you the beginning request request two thoughts. Two thoughts. But outside that, they get simple majority. Simple majority. If you go to section 80, the election of the speaker, you go realize say, the provision where they are 79 uh, 3. In order not section 80, section 80 say mm -hmm. simple majority they elect the deputy speaker. We mean to say the constitution make provision flexibility for situation they like this, just and for situation where you know go get the full complement of parliament. Just outside the legal platitudes, um like le, 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 le Reverend say. I mean, politics or political settlements always they precede the legal, um, the legal means. So, outside the legal plat um, platitudes, who we don't talk about, L looking at governance itself, we all know how important opposition, the role of opposition in any democracy is. Um, if the opposition don't decide not to participate, in other words, they don't say we're not going to scrutinize the, the the government. We're not going to provide checks and balances for the government. Even the Honorable Ibrahim Tawa, would you enjoy governance? Would you enjoy politics in parliament without a dissenting view, without a, a, a voice with a challenge with you to say, in other words, provide alternative policies, alternative arguments with regards how the state should function? Like I say, then we then make a, a reference to two things, mm -hmm. political settlement and legal settlement, right. or political recourse, and legal recourse. Mm -hmm. Me don't add one to Reverend in good thoughts. I don't add a reasonability. So under reasonability, mm -hmm. nobody wants to be in that parliament, or nobody wants to be in the council where now you voice no more, you the hear, you know the hear other voice will go help the debate for foster. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, a party in opposition is a party that is part of the governance structure. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, you know government in waiting. Whatever happen, mm -hmm. someday, sometime you get forget access to either taking the reign of governance or your contribution at the chamber mm -hmm. or on a council will lead to the transformative policies of government and for affect the people alive. life. So personally, on a reasonable stand, mm -hmm. I know we say I want parliament to go on without the opposition. Right. Equally, reasonably, other means, the other means the way they for dialogue, for settle, or for recourse to the earth and the the, 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 the body structure where they run the opposition party should recourse to that one day, then for revert to that one day, why is they allow reasonability for the people? Let's not forget, we are mm -hmm. talking about government of the people, for the people and by the people. And these same people, mm -hmm. they don't go now, they don't vest them authority in certain sets of people. Them. So let reasonability allow them for go do their work. Why should they pursue other alternatives? Because, mm -hmm. you know me to say, if you don't have parliament, you need to pursue other alternatives. No, the law not say so. And not me to say if you go take a council, you need to pursue an alternative. No, the law not say so. But at the end of the day, if you deprive citizens, if you look at the, 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 the energy you pull and take for go votes, if you deprive them of that day, you they begin institute, you they begin initiate apathy. Because the person will say, why I go vote now? Mm -hmm. Because why I go vote tomorrow, one political party will just tell people and say, no go. And if you say no go, no go go. And that is where democracy comes into play. Just now you say the APC, they initiate action against the Olayu Moye Bangua. Already, the first uh, Sakila Oden Center for Expeller. So we get to apply this inability for see how they put all things into context for the people, of the people, and by the people. All right. Um, Lawyer Rashid, with the way things are panning out politically, um, the current state of governance, for, for plenty of people, um, there is, I mean, nobody is winning. Sierra Leone is not winning at this point. Um, everything um, at the governance level 
does not appear to, to be moving and making things work for the people of this country, we grab on June 24th, go to the polls, elect people that we then feel safe, then believe in for move this country agenda forward. Mm. With what's in the apple, we don't see, I mean, the presidents, they continue for undertake in constitutional mandates, um, appointing people that we believe say can actually push and implement the agenda we've been put forward during the campaign time in manifesto. We don't suicide parliaments as well. Mm. Don't go on for parliamentarians that don't subscribe to the oath that they elect um, speaker, but then they get their own dynamics with the opposition. I mean, staying away, except for one of them, the member we don't go mm. on and subscribe to the oath. As things are panning out, where mm. do we put into context our current state of governance? Yes, so um, again, I tell you everything for the invitation. All the time, the wife with the um, seize the opportunity for make um, a difference in the nation, and we for be happy for everything that they do. And I'm glad for the invitation. I am there for represent the CSO community, and um, yes, we self being don't sit down and don't look at this issue um, from a CSO perspective. It's worrying. That's the the word we get for them. It's a very worrying development, and. Um, in Ponate, people know say since 1991, this country chose a path, mm -hmm. and that path now multi-party democracy. So anything way, and in 1996 so we exhibit that than the clear one. Mm -hmm. For the very first time, we had a multi-party democratic elections, and that commitment day, we near the constitution, and we would exhibit in many elections now. You know, finally it can you know be tainted. Mm -hmm. At this hour, so now something we worrying and we concerning to everyone, and not just something we play for take light. So they see again people take and light and mm -hmm. and just the downplay and like now one kind of funny thing. No, it's a serious thing that requires our attention, it mm -hmm. requires our effort. Let we all sit down and how we get a roadmap on this and decide for push the country in a, dem in a multi-party democratic way. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad for that today. We don't see them as an organization. We don't map out a few things. And I, I will um, be grateful for getting the privilege for talking today in good That's faith. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't look at the one member situation. We don't look at the entire religious community. Mm -hmm. We perhaps we don't be the moral guarantor in this exceptional situation and come up and say, okay, you know what? Come APC, come SLEP, come NEC. Let's sit down and map a way forward. Now, nobody wants to even listen to them let alone now any other state government institution. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the quagmire we find ourselves. Mm -hmm. Who therefore really host this dialogue, dialogue mm -hmm. and then move forward? So it is not necessarily that perhaps a piece not even have to come, but, or other parties, they vote, how, how do we discuss the issue and get there? So you're saying everybody, me, everybody's a suspect. Yeah, to me, that, that, so that, there's lack of trust. Yes, that, is the, that is the problem at the moment. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, there are many, many people who want to come to parliament and want to serve. Mm -hmm. But they just want that space to be had and somebody recognize that what they are saying is not nonsense. Mm -hmm. There's a point they are making. All right? So, so, and CSOs are also a mess at the moment. We cannot even talk to, it, to these people mm -hmm. because of, of the divide and the political, you know, game that has been playing among us. Mm -hmm. So now who will be the competent person to talk about this? That is the deficit we are having. So we don't put something on our paper. And we trust the, what I will say here today mm -hmm. will make some sense mm -hmm. as, as a way forward okay. in, in, in we only to respect. So, should I start with something? Certainly. Let's, yes. Let's hear. So, Mohamed um, Bangoa. Hmm? Go ahead. Mohamed Bangoa. So, we, we noticed that um, the party's position was that they will not participate in governance, and they had several reasons. Mm -hmm. And um, Mohamed Bangoa, exceptionally, you know, debated and went to the swearing ceremony. So what is our position? Now, when we look at it from the critical point of view, in the context of the PI system, you will want to blame my Bangura here. Can, 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 mm -hmm. Forgive me, can yes. we put that into context in, in, in the sense that mm -hmm. uh, just before you go to um, the ceremony itself, perhaps yes. let, let's go back to Parliament yes. on, on, on Thursday, this past Thursday. Let's quickly um, go back yes. to Parliament mm -hmm. and, and, and see what really happened with Honorable Mohamed Bangua walking in and becoming the man of the movement and all of that. Let's go back to, <laughs> let's go back to Parliament and just um, join with parliamentary correspondents as we put the story for us together. If you watch now, 
Just don't enter the room. Don't take your seat. Honorable Mohamed Bangura, the next seat now, as you can see. Standing ovation for Honorable Mohamed Bangura. I, I Abdul Karim Bangura. Having been elected a member of parliament, having been elected member of parliament, do hereby, do hereby, in the name of God, swear, in the name of God, swear, so help me God. Alusain Bash Kamara, absent of the APC. Mohamed Sharif Kagbo of the APC, absent. The clerk is good for democracy. The people are all here to escort their members of parliament. And they're all happy. I'm here today for fulfill my promise as a, a member of parliament for taking the oath of office. Now, I have no regrets. I am doing the right thing. I am mandated by the Constitution of Sierra Leone. So that's all I'm doing. It is not about going against my party, but I am fulfilling my constitutional right. No, no, I have no fear. Wait tomorrow, can we deal with that? But for now, I'm here to subscribe to the oath. Bye-bye, as the legislative returning officer announced the results of this year's six speakership elections as follows, 95 persons voted, the eyes received 92 votes, and the nays 3 votes. By the powers vested in me, I hereby declare the Honorable Dr. Abbas Chernobyl. is a compromiser, is not entirely an independent arbiter because it represents party, but nonetheless, yes, elect country. Now, you know, um, for sure say he is the speaker of the house of the sixth parliament. He is a lucky man coming for the second time. <laughs> uh, I don't want to call I don't want to call it luck. Uh, By virtue of the past vested in me as speaker Sixth Parliament of the Republic, the Second Republic. I hereby declare the Honorable Singapore Thomas as duly elected Deputy Speaker. All right, um, plenty thank you to the parliamentary team. We've been go to parliament at a while and cover the, um, the opening with uh, members them as they subscribe to the oath and they elect the speaker and deputy speaker of the house. And of course, um, um, lawyer Rashid be one, be they making a submission on Mohammed Bangura based on, on the findings of the legal link. Now, um, I, 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 as you make those submissions, um, for plenty of people, interesting times, um, they are ahead of we in the Republic, especially when we come to, to the law. Plenty of people go on for say, how do we test or how do we get different interpretations or opinions on how, on how the legal people or the courts would want to interpret section, section 771K, section 78126. Um, with regards to Mohamed Bangura and disciplinary action, whether or not he go lost in seat, where the party decide for make things as already the wrong begin, we don't suicide the party, don't put out statements, and don't initiate um, disciplinary actions for we he disobey the party in decision and say, let them go with me and won't subscribe to the oath. But then waiting on our findings with regards then laws here. Yes, so, um, you know, I like my mom guy is <laughs> <laughs> You know, um, is is I think it will be bring some laughter into the whole thing. I think the environment be tense, but I remember we are coming in. I mean, people get some smiles, and then and, and it's, it's it's a comedy at the end. Now, but why Bangura find himself in um, a catch twenty two situation? What way? remember? Um, we are now in a situation where the PR system mm -hmm. holds tight. 
So not all that kind of system where slack a little way give um, individual candidates okay. um, powers for perhaps do one or two things. So in, in the PR system, we don't agree say the party powerful. Yes. All right. So that, that is what we have agreed when we choose the PR system that party loyalty and discipline is at its highest. All right. So any form of deviation by any party member, you will incur the wrath of the of the, and the powers of the party. So in that sense, what he commit will amount to a, a political sin. All right, and a contrary to the expectation of a member of parliament in under a PR context. From a party level. Yeah, from a party level. And given section 77 K we rightly mentioned, you know, the party get power for a move mm -hmm. um, to the leader, notifying, of course, um, the speaker. speaker for a move um, an MP, mm -hmm. automatically going to lost his seats. Yeah. So the constitutional permission also they way perhaps make them much more difficult for the situation for be addressed. But um, in the analysis, what thing we, 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 we advise, mm -hmm. you know, and I hope I, I wish I, I was a lawyer for um, APC. Go ahead. And um, my advice could be, do forgive Mohamed Mame, Mame, Mame Magbora. It's, it's a sin, but you have to forgive Is him. there no legal defense if, for if, there, if, if, if APC dare for cross the line, and touch my Bangoa, it will be one of the most, most toughest legal fights in history of Sierra Leone. Mm. And I'll tell you why. Mm. My Bangoa's representation at the, at the moment gives some credence to this um, parliament. And trust me, they will want to save him at the worst of things. Mm. So remember, the APC is now afraid of going to court. Well, a, a, a touch on my man will, will, will bring them to the court mm. that they are afraid to go. So that is something also they have to understand. So my man has committed the sin, no problem, no, no doubt. But wisdom demands that you don't touch him. If they trigger the removal, he will definitely go to court and cite those are sections, mm -hmm. which the court might want to explain, the high court in particular, mm -hmm. or whether in fact the position has become vacant, Mm -hmm. All right, the reasons for the vacancy and all of that, and he has an appellate process to the to the court of appeal. All right, so it's a whole fight. I'm sure the government will want to maintain um, my Bangua in that parliament. Mm. And remember, we have a whole problem. I mean, APC is saying they don't we don't go to court, they don't trust the court. But then this this issue will open them to the court. So we, my our opinion is, mm -hmm. is committed a political sin, but. It's not as fatal in a sense to really, because remember, he said, he said I'm here to respect the Constitution mm -hmm. and to put my nation first, all right? Which may not necessarily be a bad thing, but the context he finds himself, that's making it difficult because it's, it's a PR system. A PR system demands you to be loyal to your party. So our advice is forgive him. And let me tell you why also we are advising that he's forgiven. Because ultimately, we know and we're sure this is possible, highly possible that it will pass and APC might come to parliament. So why do you want to, I mean, finish him when ultimately you people might I mean, think, or think twice again and perhaps make a decision to come to parliament? So it, it, to me, it's, um, it's a tough situation, but it's not a sin that cannot be forgiven. You know, All right? And you touching him might open you to a whole per legal fight that you may not necessarily go, want. Permit me to go through the letter dated 13th July, mm -hmm. 2023, from the All People's Congress Party. It says, blatant disregard mm -hmm. and disobedience of party policy decision by Honorable Mohamed Bangura mm -hmm. and notification of intention to initiate mm. disciplinary measure, um, action. Yes. Now, the All People's Congress APC Party notes with dismay and disappointment the action of Mohamed Bangura, one of its listed members of parliament, representing Karine District under the District Block Proportional Representation System. The said Honorable Mohamed Bangura on Thursday, 13th July 2023, presented himself at the opening session of the sixth parliament of the Republic of Sierra Leone and proceeded to subscribe to the oath of office of members of parliament contrary to the policy decision of the National Advisory Council, NAC. Mm. The public 
Mary Cole, that in the press release dated the 30th June 2023, the party stated its position on matters concerning the June 24th, 2023 election specifically, it is declared that the party will not participate in any level of governance, mm -hmm. including the legislature and local councils, owing to the lack of transparency and inclusiveness in the tabulation of the election results. The party further demanded the following. Now, the release further said, this conclusion on non-participation was reached at a meeting of the National Advisory Council in which Mohamed Bangua was in attendance. Mm. Now, at a meeting as summoned on the 5th July 2023 of all members of parliament, mayors and chairpersons of council elect, the said decision was further communicated to and endorsed by all present. Pursuant to Article 21B of the APC Constitution 2022, the decisions of the NAC are binding on mm. all subordinate organs, bodies and members of the party. Article 38 establishes the parliamentary group comprising of the party's members of parliament mm -hmm. as one of the bodies. Honorable Mohamed Bangua, being a member of the party and also a member of the parliamentary group by conduct, has flagrantly disregarded and disobeyed the decision of the NAC in contravention of the party's constitution. His disobedience of the decision of the NAC constitutes a cause for strong disciplinary action under Chapter 6 of the APC Constitution 2022. Mm. Thus, the Honorable Mohamed Bangura, along with the APC rank and file, and the general public is hereby informed mm. that the party has initiated mm -hmm. disciplinary action against Honorable mm -hmm. Mohamed Bangura in line with the provisions of the APC 2022 Constitution, signed Lance Nadumbuya Esquire, <laughs> National Secretary General. Yes. Now, interestingly, there was a document where all elected members of parliament signed. Yes. Honorable Mohamed Bangura did not Wasn't sign like that decision. Okay. So whilst we were following this, there's a lawyer in the UK, mm -hmm. Dr. Freddie Lawson, now, this is what he submitted in defense of Mohamed Bangura's decision. Yes, great. And he said, I'm on my way to court, Samuel, and, uh, but I just had Mohamed Bangura. I totally agree with his stance. There is a generalization of anti-party activity being banded out, a charge which could be levied against him. He can claim as his defense Article 12B, subsection 1 and 5, as of the APC Constitution, which makes the point that B, Every member is obliged to, section one, abide by the provisions of this constitution as well as mm -hmm. lawful rules and regulations, directives and decisions of the party or of any of its organs. Five is saying abide by and publicly up uphold lawful decisions of the party. Mm -hmm. The stress here is lawful. Regulations, decisions, directives, rules, which can be tested in court. <coughs> Your, um, I've dealt with issues. My concern is fervent desire by politicians to be babysitted on very straightforward matters. Are they really politicians? These politicians should grow up rather than always referencing external overtures. We should be looking for internal solutions. After all, what is happening now is a creation by the very politicians. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so it's, I think it's, it's like I said, it will be a a fight, a legal fight that mm -hmm. we, we will never, we have never seen in our history. Mm. Because it will require even a whole inquiry into the party's constitution, the national constitution, mm -hmm. the parliamentary, um, <laughs> how, do, how do you call your uh, standing, standing orders, orders, and it will get as far as the Court of Appeal. Mm -hmm. And if not, if they are to be not careful, it will also still another three to five years also of the APC in court. Mm. Yeah, but this, so that's what I'm saying, if you're not careful, you touch Omer Bangura, and the, the government wants Omer Bangura. They want him in that parliament. So let's, let's be clear. They want him. Mm -hmm. Because it makes their case easier to say, okay, we have an opposition. At least we have one person who is representing the opposition. So, I mean, to me, this will pass. I'm strong, I strongly believe that this will pass. They will go to parliament, and they will take their seats. So, I mean, 
It's about just finding a space to discuss the issues, frankly, and hear their concerns, and perhaps commitments are made mm. going forward on how to address, I mean, the reforms in the, in the, the electoral laws, yeah. and perhaps put pressure on ECSL to do some few things mm -hmm. that will at least enhance trust and credibility going forward. But I'm sure, so why punish him eventually for something perhaps that will be settled mm. and all of them come to parliament? So he may have committed the worst of political sins under the PR system, but I think it's for, forgivable. And right. APC must not wake up a legal battle, which tomorrow might also distract them further instead of making them perhaps have a win at the end of the day. Mm. That's my take for Mohamed first. All right, let's talk first about one. that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but, but, but generally, just quickly before yeah. I, I come again to, to, to everyone, generally from yeah. all the, the findings, uh, yes. based on waiting on the go on yeah. um, now the um, governance landscape, where do we situate yes. the current state of affairs mm. with regards we desire for advanced democracy, mm -hmm. good governance, mm -hmm. and ensure, say, the development agenda of this country will continue for mm -hmm. the tracks. Yeah, so, the current so, so in fact, when, when I will be coming to an advice for the APC party, these are some of the things I will have to bring out. Because it's about looking at the bigger picture, all right? Mm -hmm. um, no doubt, nobody is saying that we are no concerns. In fact, the international community expressed them. Mm. Almost all the observers express them. So it's not about just ABC. You know, even us, we have just submitted our report to ECSL and we, sub we, we, we expressed grave concerns mm. about the process. All right? But then how do we ensure, even as we, as, we, as we push this whole, I mean, issue of transparency, but yet we don't undermine state governance, all right, and then affect our democracy. Remember, we have agreed mm -hmm. in 91 and 96 that we are a multi-party democracy. Right. If we now renege, we by default will now go to a one-party system. We don't want SLEP to be alone in that parliament and make all the laws, all right, for the nation. No, that's not the kind of parliament or democracy we want to see. Mm. So perhaps the, there, is a, there is a need for a, the, looking at the bigger picture, but when I get to the, uh, my advice for the APC, I will bring some of these issues as well. So I agree with you, democracy okay. is at its peril, at a crossroads, and we have to see how we can rise above, mm. all right, all of this, and look at the bigger picture and see how we can consolidate our democracy going forward. Reverend, um, now, for plenty of people, let, let, let's talk just a, a quick one about the appointment of us with Ongon and how we can relate that they foresee whether that they actually get the, the proclivity for, for calm down nerves. Because one of the things with plenty of people don't, don't they, um, talk about now that, oh, over time, we don't they get government, we, they don't they constitute themselves and not don't be inclusive. They say that one way, just the focus on um, the tribal kingsmen, or one way, don't already focus on um, people um, within the conclave, the, the, the party structures. Um, now, waiting, plenty of people will say, ah, what is happening with um, the current, the second term of mm -hmm. President Julius Madabio? It's, it, we, we, we're seeing people them way, I mean, who are not notable politicians, people way not being there in the, in that community for push for the SIPP or the power power, are, are now coming on board um, through the president's um, decision for ensure, say, the agenda for push is going to go before it happen. Now, where does that bring inclusivity? Where does that bring good governance? Is this something we should actually celebrate as a nation? A very interesting question. <clears throat> We always on the call for a situation where it, we will get the different demographics. Right. Um, as far as the issue of women concern mm -hmm. and young people concern, that's the picture that we are seeing. We may find time to investigate the regional balance, but for now, two things were very important. We we always on the clamor for mm. about women representation. Well, we don't know if the GIWI Act 9 mm -hmm. uh, um, kind of provide motivation for the president, but we also see very young people there. Right. Interestingly, um, I don't know if it's the Ministry of Health. Mm -hmm. Now, now, now me, me former student now in the Walsh. Mm -hmm. Nine days as... Deputy? Jalika too? Yes, yes Mustafa. Mustafa. Very interesting, young people. Mm -hmm. And the one that we will see, now people that we don't make effort somehow, where they don't prove themselves in some areas, mm. who believe say they're not gonna disappoint we because not to just not to just President Bio. President Bio, no matter what happen, 
uh, as far as the constitution concerned, and last time this. And so he goes after five years. But um, the legacy of the work of them people here, so mm -hmm. it's very, very important to we. So um, if you ask me personally, I not even don't take time for study everything, mm -hmm. but the assessment, the evaluation that they get from other people, them, mm -hmm. it tells the people them interested in waiting the person on gear. In fact, today after service, the only negative comments were hearing, the person say, I'm glad with all the appointments, I just won. Mm. But um, let's don't talk about the one. And yeah. that's democracy. Yes. <laughs> so, but, so you see, mm -hmm. it, 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 from, from all, from, it, it, in terms of the feelers, what I don't get, yeah. people, are, people are appreciative of the choice. Mm. And for me, now the facts say, I see Bokum and Enonka inside. And I see young people them as well. Mm. Then they encourage him. Maybe, maybe just for breaking down for people and we um, really know don't they follow the appointments them. I think um, the president don't appoint um, about 47 cabinet um, ministers and deputies. We make the grand total to 64 members. So we get um, 22 man them. Um, we only represent 34 percent. While out of um, the 35 um, ministers them, it gets 10 winner women, and then they constitute about 28%. And out of the 29 deputies, 11 now women them, and then they constitute about 37% um, of the deputies. So there's this, I mean, push. Yeah, you see, mm -hmm. uh, the implementation of the GUI Act yes. cannot happen overnight. Mm -hmm. But of course, we see uh, a movement in that direction. Mm. We continue for ask the president, for go by the laws of this country. Right. Now, and I want to know they will go save we. So, for me, the arrangement so far is interesting. Now, just that we still are concerned about um, the body we get for go and approve those dominies. Parliament. Yes. Mm -hmm. We want to see that bipartisan something. Mm -hmm. You see, um, we brought the talk just now, but the Mohamed Bangura situation. Yeah. Very interesting. I noted, I say, until APC goes to parliament, they cannot do anything to Mohamed Bangua. And if they go to parliament, they would have also committed the, the same, same offense. <laughs> yeah, so you see, it's a cut to a situation indeed. So let's don't push it too far. There are indeed issues to be addressed. Mm -hmm. But let's look for ways and means to address them. And make could not start battles for many fronts. You know, at there are times where people can say, me just look for call things by their names mm -hmm. and be forthright. Um, the situation of Mohamed Bangura might be different, but we, we call attention to the fact, say, the struggle of APC is connected to the same situation. Usai, you will expel members from the party and it, it, it provide a backlash, mm. except if we don't prepare for the truth. The expulsion of Samsumana is still affecting APC. Do you want to continue to be doing that and creating more problems for your party? Mm. I mean, I, I, I caution I just to provide. The party, uh, they made the best decision for make them make the decision as to what they want. Mm -hmm. But it's always good to learn from history. There are other people who don't jump ship because of. The, the, the fear of being attacked or accused of anti-party activities, mm -hmm. I, I would suggest to the party, address the other concerns that you have. You know, the other day, when I asked someone Bangura was talking, yeah. he said, yes, indeed, the party get legitimate concerns. But he is um, doing what he knows his conscience is asking him to do, mm -hmm. for put the interest of the country above every other interest. Mm -hmm. His motive might not even be correct or right. But that message that he's sending out to the public is winning more sympathizers mm. to his own part. Mm. And they present the party in a very bad light. Mm -hmm. So in as much as the party will get for pursue a line of action against the individual or ask for certain things for be done, it's all, it, it always good for make you err on the side of uh, uh, what you call caution, caution. Mm -hmm. so that you don't overstep your bounds and do something we go we 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 will get the <coughs> financial implications for the party mm -hmm. and not something we read we lawyer loss in yes say and I had written before this time mm -hmm. lawful orders 
You know, something happened. They went to PPRC. And when they finally resolved the matter, this was what they indicated. We then put into the, the document for mm -hmm. say, this is what will govern us for say. Now, not to just any order. It has to be lawful. And so if you come now and say, you, de, you de expel the man, he goes to court, it becomes a long drawn affair, mm -hmm. and we know the current atmosphere. <laughs> Let's face it. The current atmosphere is one that will protect anybody we seem for the mm -hmm. uh, kind of provide the necessary support for this, the status quo. Mm -hmm. We know, let's, let's go back to history. Khalifa Smart attempted it. Mm -hmm. We know what happened. I think there are a few other examples right. where the parliament choose for protect their own mm -hmm. because they feel it's not their own. That was in 1996. Yes. In 2007, it was. <laughs> So, so, so uh, exactly. Tawa was even to get yourself away. Yes. <laughs> yes. So you see, all that in the day, right. we get for reflect on them. And, and in 2012 was Mada Biu. Mm -hmm. Mada <laughs> had lied. Yes, Mada had lied. Exactly. That's why I'm saying the shit. Yes. The shit was called supported Mada had lied. It was a piece that was in power. Yes. Now it is SLP that is in power. Mm -hmm. Mama Bangua. We definitely support it. <laughs> so. We get, we get, we get for Andula, they, they get for Andula with care, yeah. and she say you not know, distract them from the things that were really very important. Right. Honestly, if you ask me for me, because of um, the fact, say, for the longest time, nobody will ever accept defeat after election. Mm -hmm. We need to investigate with electoral processes. Let us set up, this time, let it be a national affair. Mm. Let's set up a tribunal or call it a commission of inquiry, anything will fit legally. What we look, what we inquire into with electoral processes. What's really the happen way? Election done. Mm -hmm. In fact, with the, it's like with the open a, a Pandora's box. A lot of tension can happen, say, sometimes one, two years into the governance process, we still get those issues for, for content. Right. Let us have a kind of arrangement. We will speak to that. But then, um, Lawyer Rashid raised a question. Which is? Who is going to take responsibility for this process? For the dialogue session. Yes. Apart from the government, who I don't say, government can come up with a tribunal or commission of inquiry, call it whatever name. Mm -hmm. um, if, you, if you do a survey now, there's nobody, nobody will not get credibility issues at this country. Mm -hmm. But I bet you say, do you go still find out, say, religious leaders and still hold them in high esteem? It's about percentage. We, we, the religious leaders may not have the 100% credibility, but at least they will get a credibility where they are above all the other groups. Mm. We've seen surveys in the past. If you do them back to them, if I've convinced, say, that same result they will come out. But, so what is but, the but, point? But so even with that, would, for example, um, we don't see overtime, like you say, depending on who that in our power, all the other bodies that we Reports away, don't come out and say, oh, they might strike some compromise, this, that. So if everybody now suspects, now, should we say, okay, the religious leaders, then we command huge respect over the followings of this country. I mean, for, you go on for say, followed by the politicians and all of that. Should we trust now them for say, okay, take the lead. Okay, inter religious council, move forward, take the lead. The reconciliation um, process. We need to initiate them. Let me see if we able to bring APC SLPP together. Get the leaders, let them negotiate. You know, Is that what you're pushing? You know, um, it, it, it's, it, people get different opinions about what's in the happen. Right. But you know, for me, me, one, me entry point was always the fatto. Even though not to the two individuals they will say get the party them, mm -hmm. but they are the leaders. President Bio, Dr. Samura Kamara, both of them. What is their religious uh, uh, um, affiliation? They are both Christians. Not just that, they are members of the Catholic Church. And interestingly, they are attending the same mass. Samuel, there is, uh, let, let me say this, let me say this now, mm -hmm. probably I'll let out this secret about myself. Mm -hmm. If there is any one person now, this life right now, we get the power for call me to order at the Bishop of my church. I'm not 
somebody say, I'm not going to listen to other people, though. But the person will, if he say, hey, with all my heart, my conscience have to prick me. Now, my bishop, neither the person will call me, talk to me. And I believe, say, the, the, those who are heading the Catholic Church, not that they're hypnotizing people or they have, but I think they have that level of control over their membership. Mm. And the president and Dr. Samura, they are members of the same parish. What we need is to have other religious leaders coming to support the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. And with all due respect, mm. if this situation degenerates into something terrible, for me, I am going to be pointing fingers at the Catholic Church. Mm. You know, let me bring in um, Honorable Ibrahim Tawakonte, just quickly. You, you, you make mention of something very, very critical and crucial for the um, governance of this country. Now, you don't see, President Bill don't appoint him people then. And now, empower don't end at that appointment. Mm -hmm. Now, we also need the legislation of, the legislature for say, okay, pal, we, we agree with your appointment or, or no agree. But over time, we've... We've never seen a situation, for example, who say the, I mean, whether now, now rainbow color would get a parliament over time, or now just two parties, who say they would just come and say, would the president appoint? Say, no, Mr. President, we will not agree with this based on this or this. Except for the tell other groups and go say otherwise, like in the case of the IMC, then, um, with the woman and be appointed that woman way and all of that. But then, so now, if it just can happen, say, ah, the parliament as it is right now, you'll be convinced to say it's just an extension of the executive. Sure. So when the, the head of the executive makes a decision, obviously, it's, 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 it's just going to be a sweet move and all of that. So, uh, yes, okay, let me you quickly, yes. Mm -hmm. You see, <clears throat> we know, say, they always don't call with parliament, they were bastard parliament. Right. But, um, you'll get levels of rubber stamping. Right now, in the absence of the FEC party, mm -hmm. it will even be worse. Right. Yesterday, when um, Honorable Tawa gets the other side of the aisle in parliament, mm -hmm. his voice was heard, being critical, and we come for no say, okay, this is somebody way irresponsible, it can stand for the truth. That was because there was an opposition where he always pitched against and raised salient issues. Mm. But in the absence of that opposition, they, that's the, 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 the intelligence of uh, um, um, Honorable Tawa is not going to be showcased. Mm. Because now, now to reserve, to reserve. Mm. We, now this we all want. But the time there was when he had time to now explain why we for accept this. Not so just the pushover thing. Now what will happen is just a pushover. Mm. Um, the president said this he wants. We are all members of the party. Now, now for just... Uh, um, endorsement. And uh, endorsement. All right. Yeah, okay. we'll All right, we we'll went to our contest. So now endorsement, and no more now get for the seat. Uh, you know, oh. mm. Listening to two wise people sitting in the middle. You don't know whose part now even you go there. <laughs> I don't know about the right hand or the left hand, but I think say this happen now everyone on this side where are they in a better side. Mm -hmm. Firstly, everyone say we need people to bring APC and SMP together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, this is an honest conversation. Yes. APC and SMP never their part. I said it in 2018 mm -hmm. that <laughs> now the same player they play. The game they play, the player they play, mm -hmm. but you way they watch the game. It's all like uh, if you look in and look at it, you see Sokoba and the pass. You they see blood, you see this. The old days, I know that in their No blood, no, they understand. Fake no more. But you, they watch visualization. Mm -hmm. They see Alec for say, hey, what is why? Don't cut him, belly. They don't put in God, but not do nothing. But are they confused who they watch then? So, <laughs> so, like where that example I give so. Mm -hmm. Now, so politics between APC and SLPPD, mm -hmm. the only difference between them and they want the same thing. The only difference between me and APC and SPP, mm -hmm. I don't want the same thing. Oh, one person gets on the other hand, they try to keep a support base warm. Let the support base prepare for the next cycle. Mm -hmm. 
And that is what APC is doing now. They clearly know say there is no end to this. They know say like we uh, lawyer Ashidun Boya say they will come. I bet you they will come in the next one week to me, they will come. Starting the end, then seven no say there is an end point to the game. And the end point, it is very close. Because if you keep push inside us, you begin run after them. Mm -hmm. They run after them. You they run after them. Turn the car inside the stop for one, it begin attack you. If they begin pulling pause, I tell you no one say yes. The instant they get pause, they like uh, where the line will say where you get by danger, the puller. Mm -hmm. So the APC is playing a dangerous game. You are keeping 53 MPs. We don't invest so much in electionary process. We don't put so much effort. When some people they knew that they expect say the communists they go begin calling new nomenclature. Yesterday it was Mister. By the next stage of your life, it will be called honorable member, mm. a title for life. And they plan for go study. I think I will look for like I see But it no matter whose title I go there. If I get access for good study, I get for the under that Lord Rashid Umbuya, and I get for try for land and good thing and the way Lord Rashid Umbuya they teach other people there. Women serve the calling. Mm -hmm. So the post itself one go, one go land. Instead one for get access for less time they call on television. You want for get access and they call on ninety eight point one. Mm -hmm. They hear your voice. If you see all the access, they want post the blocker on what they so work it up. It will be in first back. So the point is, we have to understand where our limits stop. They will say we go for do diagnosis. Of right. electoral system. Mm -hmm. There should be diagnosis of all electoral system in the world. Even in America, since they don't have to come to us. That is why when people say they sanctuary, what more high ground the United States gets for sanctuary for voting? Thirty that Joe Biden said they struggle with legitimacy. Because the people that will vote for her, they were equal or almost the same mm -hmm. with the one who votes for Donald Trump. Popular votes. And the democracy where they practice, the voting they practice is different. If it were a democracy practice in Sierra Leone, now he like Clinton for Blombi president instead of Donald Trump because he won the popular vote. But they have a different democratic path. So it is but obvious that democracy <laughs> get divergent opinion when it comes to convergent points. Mm -hmm. So for let me tell we say this, yes, every democracy gets flaws. And the mistakes them start from the inception. Most of the things that ECSL do during the elections and the tabulation process, this is not things the political party that sign up to the PPLC meeting. And if you had signed up to something behind the scene, then you can't have public now say, oh, not to this, not to that. In the beginning, they say let ECSL publish election results by centers. They've published it. They say publish election results by police station. They've published it. So now, the reasons them were left for the APC for continuing to stay away from governance, they're very small. Now, the only one who left, now for any party, the judicial is not fair. But you not trust the judiciary with proper evidences. So now, the Constitution in itself, now one party, over the years, the first house I begin, they get myself tied up to Lagashidumwe whenever I go on a radio or a television. Now, the fact that one of the first people will all begin to say, we need to look at a holistic review of this Constitution. Mm -hmm. This Constitution, I say, under Section 94.1, it say Parliament get power for regulating self. Mm -hmm. And Parliament can amend the standing orders. Mm -hmm. So, Usai get for doing pub committee, pub, uh, 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 appointment committee. Yeah? Parliament get the power under Section 94 for amend and say, okay, since the opposition not come, the constitution of the public uh, 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 committee on appointment and public service has been constituted to reflect this way. Mm -hmm. It's not illegal, though. Because 94 3 say, not in all day where somebody will get legal standing for can't contribute. If you so contribute, only invalidate the action of government. So it's, it's, so, so it's a question is, of nobody monitors the monitor. The, but the point is, <laughs> the ahead. point is, you, 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 you they look at situation mm -hmm. with flexible, and you need to take the flexibility into consideration. Mm. The APC should sit back. Like this, you know, one press release. Mm -hmm. If you don't say they initiate the disciplinary action, they already don't pull a, a prior press release, or they expect my ever go. So, so if you go in a court, Mamé Bango has a first defense that you don't even explore the full extent of the constitution. And the constitution is section 352. It says every part, political party shall. The party dissociated itself from that press release. It, 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 it says every political party shall. If for decide in activity by this constitution. And this constitution mandates on you, Mamé Bango, for good subscribe the oath as member of parliament elect. Mm -hmm. So it's a point of what you ever say, what you say, lawful orders. The lawful order where the APC says it's supposed for be guided by and the constitution. And that lawful order they give Mohammed Bangua or any other MPO for being commands from the APC for go subscribe the oath say it is a mandate that section 83 say if you are declared an MP elect, 
by the national returning officer for subscribing before you become a member. Does this make it easier for you, the SLPP members? For approval uh, uh, yes. uh, uh, people? Yes. Let's come to approval. You said the, the intro where you say, you say they're the hardest way you ever in Sierra Leone. Whether in a collective, whether right. in a rainbow, for say people in Ghana parliament, they reject them. So it will not be a story if the people are press them, you are appointed, they all sell too. Because even if APC day, if APC come tomorrow morning, we vet them, they will still sell too. Yesterday, when APC was in governance, SFP was there. All the appointees by President Koma, they sell too. Uh, the day before, when President Kaba was there, John Kaifa Smart was there, all the parties, CDP, they made it, all the appointees, they sell too. So sometimes you need to say the appointees, they were the president that they pick, then they come with the credential where parliament they look for, we go able to help the nation. Like now, if you look, imagine somebody like a Siba, now with the college. Imagine, imagine somebody like a Siba, now with the college. Now they can hold some critical ministry like that one day. Yeah? <coughs> and I know in pedigree, it's it, it, like if tomorrow morning, President, you decide for appoint uh, Laura Shidumbo as Minister of Foreign Affairs. You think, say, in the rightful senses, Laura Shidumbo will come through parliament and reject him? No, I know in pedigree, I know in, in, in capacity, I know what he's able to add to the nation. So most of the people who are the president at <coughs> their point, they come with pedigree, where it's difficult for reject. Everybody... Let, let, me, let me rephrase, based, based on the myth. Okay. Um, would it make it, would it make Una more richer? Because Una no go get for share plenty, as per the myth that, well, on a normal day appointment always they happen before the day itself. Well, mm. uh, save for not understanding what in the myth mean. Go ahead. In the connotative meaning. Be careful, please. Lawyer Tawa may not team up in the parliament. No, no, no. You know, you know, you know. I need to resign from, from, from. Me, I need to know what they're in contempt of. Go ahead. Me, I need to know what they're in contempt because we are guided. No, I should be clear. I should say, yeah. What is it? Not clear. So because the contempt is not clear, you say we continue to assume. But the point is, for me, whatever comes to the table for the discussion, the point is, Reasonability has to take precedence. If anybody tell you say for where APC don't see, don't know go swearing. If I tell you say I don't talk to past four five APC MPs, and they lie, I make I tell you say APC and SPP they are together. Right. What in there for do? For make the public understand say we are working together, but we have differences when it comes to winning the seats. But however, people and they, I tell you outside the religious leaders, right. one great person, if you come out today and say, I am walking to State House. My man, we have to sit, we have to talk. That is the end of the conversation. Who is that person? And that person, is that person a statesman? <laughs> One man <laughs> The point is, we have to be willing. The willingness must be there. Mm. We have to be willing for the nation. But the bigger person right now is the president. The bigger person is the president. Right. And I am sure, very sure, in my heart of heart, and I know, and I believe, that the president they get conversations with a number of other people there. Right. And every people there, now people there want to influence our people them. Statesman them at this country, past and present, where the president they talk to, as to how to ensure, say, we work as a, as a nation. Let's, let's, let, me, let me say this before right. I close, right, uh, 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 close the assembly. Mm -hmm. The point is, the presidency, you want to lead the nation. But also, there's no way. I don't be a member of parliament for five years. I have given my people all I could. I still have some in my tank. But I tell you, I know we'll give the tank empty. Me second for enjoy the being member of parliament. Right. It is the same with the presidency. The president second for enjoy the presidency. So the president is doing everything for ensure say peace reign. For ensure say everybody do together. So itself, we don't put the young people there also for move the state go forward. Mm -hmm. Instead, we'll be getting for relaxed and enjoy say yes, the comfort and ambience of the president. No, we're just not in Motoka, but enjoy the, the ambience of the presidency. So I know the president. They do a lot of things there because the president has been the beginner of peace in this country. And no good up the ball this time. So what he will for do, and for all apply his inability and say, politics, where you going to and the first thing they tell you, they say you turn on calm, you turn on kais, and you turn on pass. Mm -hmm. Who that turn on pass, let be. Who that turn on calm is, let wait. Who that turn day now, let open the hand, let embrace everybody. With the appointments that with the president don't make, what thing are you take on them? On our way Oh me? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Mm. They are good appointees. I just tell you about Siba. Right. Yeah. Uh, I see another young lady, Dr. Lamatulai. I see another lawyer with them appoint for communication and innovation. Young person. So for me, where I assess the cabinet, the first thing I see, I see say the president in drive. 
for eradicate or, or for reduce corruption to the BRS is translated in this appointment. Because the people who come, like people who are like Alpha CC, I have known him since college. In fact, I want by the people away, the populace, now makes sense not to alter the majority they win. The populace in the college say he don't fail na law. They say Alpha don't fail, Alpha don't fail. By the end of the day, it's not come Alpha pass. So this is not we don't build incredibility over time. Siba, he has been a face of feminism. He don't come, he don't help in radical inclusion. So he don't get a lot of reputation where he get for keep. Mm. Where not so money, small money right now we can pull out. If you look at young people in there, like a, 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 a Jalikatu, where a, 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 everyone say, now possibly with good repute. Even David, for his age, for being the chief scribe mm. for the ministers, for direct the affairs of the ministry, it takes a lot. Dr. Kane Unkela is no small person. Say what you mean. Go say rabbit, you know the game on you. <laughs> but in integrity is number one. I know him, I've worked with him for five years. Mm. But in, his integrity is number one. And not be a part of that squad in the parliament with that report being come out. <laughs> I don't know which squad they are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but the truth is, if you look at the people there, so you go know what the people are, they count new ideas, the people are, they come. And they're not going to be influenced by the people who are running the system, the civil servant for say, go do this, go do that, day, because they're not seeing a reputation for keep. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think, say, I have my own reservation. Right. On one, two other appointments, I have to be honest. This is national television. The president must be watching me. <laughs> and the president knows me not Chris Mann, by the way. He knows I get me erratic comment. And and I always get position where they stand on. Mm -hmm. But the president believe in that one day. The president will believe in scrutiny. I get me reservation on one to other people left. But I tell Lepulani. you, I cannot call names. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, the 98 percent of the people the president appoints. Firstly, they should say the president in determination for remove corruption at this country. Mm -hmm. This appointment they reflect that. So I satisfy with so many people ever see, and I believe same will call transformation and governments. They will call new ideas, and we will move the country forward. Right, um, Lord Rashid. Yes. So um, you still want to get a, a position already? Yes. And, so um, let me can just quickly yes. go to um, perhaps um, what till we get here for the APC party after on top of Mamie Kamara. Mamie Bangura. Yes, right. Mamie Bangura, not Kamara. All right. Um, yes, we don't look at the demands. We look at the press release and the position. Yeah. Um, no doubt we we pull one way really stand out in the assessment way and important. The one way they call for. Um, um, the ECSL for, you know, um, publish the disaggregated data by polling stations. Um, we see that very plausible. Um, the others, then, we know see much in terms of the weight because they are legally connected. For example, if you just say um, log election in six months back, um, well, you, you have to annul the election first. Mm -hmm. And that is a court for them. But you court. Know, if you don't want to court, then you know, ask them, they don't make much, much sense. So this one more plausible. But then, so we conclude, say, you don't need for boycott governance for get this one done, mm -hmm. all right? You can still be in governance and force this, all right? So we they say, make them go back and take their offices, mm -hmm. okay, the mayor, the local council, and even the parliamentarians. Now, they can then at the offices them and exact pressure. They could be through internal boycotts eh, in the very office. It could be through... Peacefully, peaceful demonstration and protest. Mm -hmm. It could be also through pushing for legal and policy reforms on ECSL. It could be also through international lobby. So there are many other avenues where they will still be in a position and exact for make them get them this thing from ECSL where they, where they really they call for. So they want to see the, the, the result by pulling station in the area reforms mm -hmm. where reach that nobody where they pronounce. So if they don't take part, they harm the, the, the poverty value. Mm. Lesser than the prejudicial effect. So, for example, it will harm individuals. So, to to the people away don't campaign all this yeah. while, people don't vote, they will harm them. They will harm members, them, the constituents, them, the electorates, and of course, the party's national interest mm -hmm. in the long term will be undermined. All right? Then, of course, MPs don't get salary. All right? Local council. So, how do they survive? Again, it's, it's a survival issue. Mm. For five years, it's very long to keep somebody out of office. All right, so one get other means of livelihood. So it go hurt them as well. And of course, it go even create um, a situation which high, you know, the ruling government and the MPs then will likely even 
perhaps touch on the Constitution, right? Mm -hmm. So you know when I can see they will say they will get a free ride, mm -hmm. and perhaps say, okay, well now we present now, so let's we'll get to us, you know, they, they, they move out and, and get things and done. So this is the biggest problem why we are calling them to go to their seats because the Constitution needs to be protected. Mm -hmm. I speak to you now, they not, they, the current government not get to the majority. I don't know. Mm -hmm. eh? You're quite me. Yeah. So APC can be a very strong force in that regard to protect the Constitution, at the very least. They may not be able to protect other legislations which require a simple majority mm -hmm. because of the high number of difference by the right. by civil government. But, but they, can, they, can, they can protect the Constitution. So for that protection day, that national interest, <clears throat> to guide our constitution so that it's not abused mm -hmm. when we leave one party there. They need to come. It's a national call. That's our biggest argument, that if you don't go, the constitution will be tampered with, and the people of Seattle will blame you at the end for that so simple so reason. So we don't want this constitution to be turned to one party state or whatever, a free guide, perhaps another uh, uh, third term, fourth term, fifth term. Mm -hmm. This parliament at the start can, can do that. If APC not go there, so that's our biggest call. We say, look at it. And it will be legal. And it will be legal, because that's, that's the attitude. Right. All right? And it's about people present. So these are all the things that we are talking about. So we're saying, hey, watch this strategy. You have a case. The case on demanding is to produce data is a justifiable case. And all of us must agree with APC on that, because it's a national interest issue. But you can get that done whilst you are in your seat mm. by putting the pressure. You can have boycotts in several strategic meetings to pass the message. You can have international lobbying. But say, this thing for be done. You can even push for reforms on the legislation to making sure that these people produce that data mm -hmm. so that it no, no will ever happen again. So we say, you can have it done in your positions. No need for left them. Mm -hmm. Because people now don't, 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 don't dare to govern and what is happen eventually to man, don't even get a means of livelihood. How are you going to survive the family then? So it's a personal thing. And like, like I said, I agree with him that a matter of time, People away from being they react when it gets tougher. So we are saying, APC, go to the, the well, take your position, and fight this fight through other means. Now, let me go quickly to the government. It's important, Samuel, that I'll talk about the government and, and perhaps the failures in dealing with this issue. You know, so, so we would expect, and, and this is our call, you see, when you don't win, there is what we call magnanimity in victory. You will win, and you for good or small. It's because the possible law school always go on my mat. Mm. But how will they make that person not feel too bad? Now, how you embrace them, even in the defeat moment, all right? You show them magnanimity. So, for example, we are expecting a walking visit at the very least to APC party's office at this time. We have made a lot of difference. So, see, I can't, can't, I can't see the damage will happen here. Yeah? I recognize, say, the forces fired a lot of things here. Mm -hmm. And the people, people were even killed here. Mm -hmm. I want to see these people and their family and call them to a meeting and give compensation, acknowledging that mistake. It's a way to just minimize the tension. The government must do that. I'm calling that the president takes that into consideration. I hope he's hearing me. That's how we lead. There must be magnanimity in victory. Nobody will pull you there, Papa. Nobody will pull you there again. They don't pass because the, the pick cuts case is already before them. Mm -hmm. They so, get power for so pull you. Right. So by default, our president is president. He cannot be removed. The APC is neglect for going to court for go fetch that battle today. So now, sir, take the higher bar. Mm -hmm. Okay, go and to that party office. Mm -hmm. You have to do that. And let's let's, let's discuss the issue. Then ask me, I think they will go help for make the wounds. See, I'm concerned, but the damage will happen. I'm concerned, people will die in Iran then too. And I think say the state for do something for their family then. Is it's it a, is all right, it, these are all the ways to at this point, pipe down the tension. At this point, all three of you can have a bite, but yes. maybe Rashid, you can start. Let, let, let me just at this point, is, is it that with democracy or with country with governance um, style, don't reach to a point where we should be thinking of having a transitional law? I mean, a law that deals with transition? Oh, well, it, perfectly. In, in, fact, in fact, Samuel, Samuel, you don't answer me next point. Because, <laughs> no, no, we, we, no, we, no, Samuel, we, we need to forget right. that. You know why? <laughs> And not, not even not the, the traditional law, mm -hmm. but also even if it's yes and now we don't find out say we need for amend so many things and the, and the act, mm -hmm. the PA Act. Mm -hmm. For example, now one forget, it, I mean, a requirement mm -hmm. where they say three months to the election, produce the register to all parties. Mm -hmm. If we post now, because we find out say it was a problem. Mm -hmm. Secondly, if we agree, so okay, in the counting, yeah. if for happen, 
if what happens, eh, through a saline, eh, 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 computer business, and eh, PowerPoint, all and say, put out the law now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the things we have to look at going forward. Right. How do, and then again, wait, let's run on, how for publish data by polling station. We can mandate that in the law. So, so again, we, yes, we, we need also a discussion law. I agree with you. How do we interface? With the political party, the pathway loss mm -hmm. and the pathway win. Right. So, for example, now I, I, I celebrate the president's appointment, but much needs to be done in terms of, I, I would argue, okay, the opposition also being bought or board. We are seeing a lot of um, lack in lackingness in that area. So, perhaps let us see how one or two or three, okay, of APC people also can get, test, get a test. Mm -hmm. These are all ways to mitigate the tension. All right? All we right. celebrate the youthfulness. We celebrate uh, even the new people that are coming in. But let's see also some effort being made to bring the opposition as well, at the very least in some few positions in governance. Okay. This is how we temper the situation down. So okay. going forward, yes. my appeal is, APC, take this seat in the interest, if not for anything, but to save our constitution from being violated down okay. the line. Um, Honorable, let me bring you in on whether or not, I mean, we are ready. For forget uh, 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 a transition law in this country. We at least go help we win one party, then our power we lost. I mean, there's that time for handover and get things sorted. Even, at, even if there is also a legal, a legal matter, I mean, we not just, but now we just get to say, as I pronounce you, <laughs> you, 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 you the, the next thing with the Chief Justice, they felt for locate you, say, they for, for so you in. And that's what we've seen over time. <laughs> but but they still get transition law in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We then pronounce Tinibu. Yeah. Somebody go challenge yes. at the court. We are the competent authority. Mm -hmm. Where the APC fail for do. We make them the like way like Rashid say. Yeah. We make the case is void have an issue. Mm. Because you not get nobody we go say they validate this election for legal election. So that is aside. Mm -hmm. Now the point is, if we are going to create a transition clause, the fear of uh Rashid Umbuya, could come in place because we have to do something with the constitution. And <laughs> let the members of parliament sit out there, the new one, the way they call it, say, when it comes to anything that will concern two third, that the member of parliament that will take code now that they come two third. That is one. Number two, 91, section 91 say, e any decision will they bring in a parliament, except provided for by this constitution, that is 1080 against, against clause system, mm -hmm. except provided for by this constitution, shall be determined by majority of members present and voting. So we'll take on board your recommendation that transition when they come to the, the constitutional review. Because certainly this constitution is almost obsolete. Mm -hmm. We have to accept that. Right. That some part in the conflict itself. Mr. Self, I go out to see some revision of section 70. And other provision, the way they give precedent for appoint people, the power for appoint people in a tenure position. So that if the co president building in the second term now, so anybody they appoint in a tenure position, no one can get in tenure. No. If it is second, there should be a contractual agreement between them. Mm -hmm. Say, at the end of my term, your term extinguishes immediately. Mm -hmm. So that you know they bound the next person where they come, for, for can not take that person on board when you As in the case of the ACC. So the constitution it. gets a lot, a lot of lacunas there. Right. Even if we say not to lawyer, mm -hmm. but they you know, say things are only for be thinking. But if the APC is on our house, we can still do it. And we'll do it and it's work. Mm. Because Section 94.3 say, if you not come, you know the invalidating you government in your interest. So if you look at all of the talk today, the format don't begin, mm -hmm. that I'm encouraging my friends, my colleagues, new members, the way mm -hmm. they come, where they can join me, do the right thing. Because at the end of the day, if we, where nobody not gets faith over death, but we assume, say, as young people, them, the, the, the fate of this nation then on our shoulders. If we not able to take the bull by the horn and face people and say, mm -hmm. you know what, I have done this in parliament. It is a risky path. Right. I have gone before my party. I was taken to the presidency. I said, no, this one never. Not so because I disregard the authority of the party, but because I believe, say, someday, sometime, posterity get for judging some of the action that we take. Mm -hmm. So as young people, if we look at the party and say, you know what, this election is done. Mm. We can pursue, I have said it, Rashid has said this, Reverend Senator Tokam. We can pursue other alternative means without resorting to trying for crumble government or trying for crumble governance, not make government look bad. So for me, I will tell you, say, I agree with you 100%, say, we need a transition clause in this constitution. Mm -hmm. We need a fixed date for election in this constitution. Right. 
We need Tine Ogo help this yeah, country. Yeah, 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 one, we need Tine Ogo help this country so that we no go look like say you they play the game for suit your convenience. Mm -hmm. Let the game play. We all man over say if he they lost, he they lost. And I will tell you ten times over. That's not free and fair election. We miss APC any day, any time because right. we beaucoup pass there. <laughs> all right. Very <laughs> weird. You know. <clears throat> <laughs> On this issue of transition, yes. I get an interesting conversation with somebody. Mm -hmm. When I mention the fact, say, one thing we always do is create a problem for we, and the fact say, we will not get any transition law. Doesn't the person tell me? Mm. And one point the way um, honorable they talk, I almost laugh because I, I recall that person's statement. He mm -hmm. said, APC, SAP, nothing in the bar. More not, more not bring that kind of law there. <laughs> now say, no. For us, who are the spectators, mm -hmm. who are not aware of the games being played behind the, the scene, Pauline. give us, <laughs> because in governance, you get this concept of predictability. Mm -hmm. Let us know the path to follow. More not get surprises. For say today, OK, um, we don't say not 10 years, mm -hmm. as long as you don't do day, whether you win or loss, mm -hmm. If I continue ten years, I don't want that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. More getting there, we're clear, we're plain, we're straightforward. We don't say from step A and B will they go. We don't jump from A, we'll go to C. So we need the transition law. Mm -hmm. And this aspect where appeal is being made to um, the APC politicians to go to go to parliament. Yeah. We know say there is always this uh, uh, conflict between um we go say members of parliament mm -hmm. and members of parliament present. Mm. For me, for, for, for on a normal day, you go see one, one particular section of the constitution that they say members of parliament. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, the reminder now that if you be a member of parliament, you don't take the oath. But you also get what we, the closer you go see, you go say, say members of parliament present. Mm -hmm. We all get it. We get the issue that day. Yeah. We, now, the, some of the gaps inside the Constitution, more remind each other, this Constitution is what you might call a sequel to the 1978 one-party Constitution. Not much was changed. Mm -hmm. And why? Because it appears as if one, somebody really thinks, well, we're going to be there forever. Mm -hmm. And now, certain things and they catch up with me. For me, the constitutional review process that women we don't do in the past, those were missed opportunities. Who for don't change, but Kuba could see the way they affect some people now. Mm. But uh, you see, at this same spot as Sidon, and I, I, I made this statement that I'm going to make. It was a minister that was sitting by me and he was angry. I don't know today if the honorary member of parliament would be angry. But the politicians, mm. they're not the land. Mm. See, they, you do one thing, will they affect the other one? Then when the table turn, that same thing is going to be done to you. In fact, even worse, why not correct the laws now for avoid that kind of situation and they? Mm. Because, you know, <laughs> it was the same Mohamed Bangua as Minister of Information. He had an interview. He said, ah, we'll be there for the next 50 years. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. He said that. But what happened afterwards? His party left power. And today, we know say it's all about, it's all about survival. <laughs> but if you may not correct the things, then, mm -hmm. we're not for affect you today. If we don't better, right. let's go back and fix the challenges in our constitution and address some of the problems the world democracy they face. All right. But I put it this way again, there are concerns to be addressed in this nation. We want to move on, yes, but let's address those concerns. Mm. Apart from the challenge to election result, what of the people who, who were killed? What of the people who lost their houses, them property, them bond them property them? What about some people right now we're not even in dinner than community? Who is speaking up on their behalf for make we end the vicious cycle? Mm. Yes, I want to see my country making progress, but let's don't forget those things that are undermining the peace of our country. Mm. Because somewhere, let's face this, 
I always, recently, I love quoting Einstein. Mm -hmm. It says, peace cannot be kept by force, but it can be achieved through understanding. What in, at times, what you could want for do, now by force, peace for day, mm. instead of addressing the underlying issues, let's address those underlying issues, and we're going to have lasting peace, and we'll enjoy our democracy. All right. Um, make we quickly go uh, and join Sally Fuchia in Okamara in our studio, too, for go through some of the messages them we, we online viewers that understand now we a web news Facebook page. Sally Fu, good evening and welcome. Uh, good evening, Samuel Wise Bangura. And we get boku boku messages them, some in Creole and some in English. Uh, the one where the first take now from Adama Denke. AYV, note that Mohamed Bangura is not the problem, but ECSL has placed our country in a funny situation when the local and international observers question the transparency of results. And Mustafa Sawise, how can APC instruct their MPs not to take part in the governance system of the country? Are these MPs serving President Bio or the SLPP-led governance or the people that elected them? This action of APC seems very naive and unpatriotic. And uh, Ulum Michael John say, uh, this is not complimentary to AYV. Uh, thank you, AYV, for the good work. AYV on Sunday is the best program I am watching from Guinea Conakry. And uh, Henry Salu say, so if APC not take part in the governance of the state, we all for die now, they ask. And Mosiri Jane say, the action of Mohamed Bangura is a real patriotism. And Osmani Dabi say, Mohamed Bangura should be the waiting speaker of the house. And Eddie Grant say, uh, this is the ask Rashid Dumbuya. They say, like, seriously, Rashid Dumbuya, how can the party remove Mohammed Bangura through the speaker when they don't believe in the process? And uh, Yusufu Kamara uh, Sivo, he say, if Mohammed Bangura is expelled from his party, he will find his way to the ruling party. Time waits for no man, an opportunity comes but once. And uh, Ronald Bradford Igniter's George Stone say, this political impasse should serve as a lesson to the APC, because in 2007, when they were in office, they didn't allow the judiciary to be neutral so that the impasse happening now will have been resolved. But our judiciary dare not act in the interest of the state because the executive office has state capture, which will all know, hence the reluctance of the APC going to court. The same would have been the case if the SLPP was in opposition and that our panelists know, and that our panelists know very well. Uh, Ambat A.B. Ibn Ali say, Wallahi, all this backwardness of we country, the judiciary contributes a lot because transparency and equal justice know they exist now we country. And uh, Abbas Habib Koka Bangali say, uh, Rashid, a question to you, uh, Mr. Rashid also, that are you advising APC not to attempt to uh, start a legal fight with Mohammed Bangura? They should forgive him. And Suleiman Kamara, really, I admire Mohammed Bangura for not boycotting parliament. May Allah guide and protect him. He is a real Sierra Leonean. And Mosiri Janesi, this is the judiciary APC enjoy for the past 11 and a half wasteful years. How overnight that judiciary has now become scary to APC. And Stephen Yali say, how can they go to court when they don't believe in the court? We they enjoy the game. And uh, leader, it's Aliyu. 
It said the APC do not have the right to expel Mohammed Bangura. He was there to respect the Constitution. He was not there to join a political party, but to take the oath of office as a member of APC. Stopping him is like uh, violating, violation of the, that particular act of the Constitution. The 77K only said if a member wants to join another political party, uh, as the time him was elected, he there as APC member. And Abiz Kam say, exactly the current atmosphere in Sierra Leone is absolutely insane. One side people are protected and another are victims. And Harun Olu Zubaru, he said, this is all uh, hogwash. Please, ECSL, provide the disintegrated uh, results. This will solve the problem. And uh, GB Emma, in my opinion, issues like this, that's going on in the country, it's not good for us, the young people. My own suggestion is that the Constitution need to be changed so that we all have an independent uh, instructions where our leaders will not appoint people in some of these institutions, mm -hmm. like the ACC boss, ECSL boss, the attorney general, and the force, etc., etc. So the last message we I would take for today, uh, now from Alusain Caesar. All of you panelists know one thing: there is no peace without justice. The problem we have in Sierra Leone is the decency to do the right thing. Thank you, and back to you, Samuel Wise Bangura. Thank you very much, Salifu Chenno Kamara, for um, some of the messages that they will read. But we can always apologize because time never they permit we for go through all of our messages. We get hundreds of them now. We now we page um, this evening, but we're only able to take few of them. Um, be part of the conversation. But thank you very much for your input. We appreciate, we value them, and we enjoy the privilege of your time in the show. Let me quickly come back to the panelists then. And um, quickly, uh, as we try for wrap up. Uh, yes, Rashid. Yes, so this is an advisory opinion, we will agree. Mm -hmm. um, not to uh, mandate one, we are not only in the brief. Um, yes, so <laughs> we don't analyze them as yes, yeah. and we think this are the implications. So, yes, we say, may them forgive me, may I come in by what you do. I'm begging you, sir. I'm begging you, sir. I'm begging you, sir. I'm begging you, sir. I was a different coming back for a long time, so maybe yeah. in. in in them, they know him what. All right. Um, Bangura, we agree men and forgive him um, because um, now political sin he commit, but um, in all prudent, if you touch him now, you're going to court, and there will be a, a tough battle because he will count defenses in the constituency and are lawful and others now he will take. All in kind of the end, he will cause a lot of distraction mm -hmm. down the line. All right. So we also call APC men and can na 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 na. na Parliament and take um, governor's positions because, first of all, it's good for the nation to forget that kind of situation before happen. And secondly, if they're not going to Parliament, this government will get the free will for like leaving Tampa with the Constitution. Let's change, change. At the moment, they don't get that, 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 that number. Will they change, all right? <laughs> so if people say no good, they go make it easier for me to get a number, and they might even change key things then. Will they change? Including <laughs> even tenure. Will they change? Okay, will they? <laughs> so go more, go more. All right, we know how did that happen. Okay, that, but that, that end with if, um, one or two things quickly uh -huh. on ECSL. Yeah. You see, so we all for agree. And we say, we put on our report. Say, ECSL do some things they were not correct. And I've said it several in our report. First of all, we indict them when they not, not count and tally in the district, then take and go to the regions. That's not what the law says. So we made it clear in our report that ECSL do not do that again. Mm -hmm. This is something that is wrong. Now then the problem all begin. All right? So we, we condemn them under. So there's a need to get this kind of discussion because, again, tomorrow, tomorrow, it might affect even the ruling government. So we don't want any transition is strong for me for be named among the kind of things they are so. So there are many reports where they outweigh condemn them on transparency. <clears throat> now, now evaluate the reason why for discuss and look at it going forward. So it's also for step up and do the right thing 
and save this nation from that kind of situation you know, going forward. Then, of course, that end. With the judiciary. Quickly, please. The judiciary, we notice also say they respond. So if APC sends some letter, the judiciary respond. <coughs> I, I, I was, I was, I, I saw that. Because judiciary normally know they, know they respond to when people they criticize them. Okay? I don't know if they're in new strategy, but I think when not for the happen. Because you know why? People will always, they want the way win, will gladly for you, the judiciary. They want the way loss. We always condemn the judiciary. So you want to say anybody will condemn you will loss, you will reply to them. So to me, they, 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 they reify the tension. And perhaps, in a way, give more reasons to say, well, you see, the Chief Justice even said, don't bring the attack the APC back on incident. And the language in the letter was not decent. It was not good for a judiciary. All right? So these are things we have to discuss mm. going forward. Lock him out, do you right thing, do you walk? OK, so people are glad, people are glad. We are not glad you appeal against the decision. That's how you say, all right? And this, you ensure fairness in the appellate process. But can't right say, mm. use words in a way, perhaps not so nice, in a way, put the judiciary in a very bad light. So we appeal going forward, and like, no, we sit down on this issue. Mm -hmm. The president take a walking mm -hmm. to APC office, do some conversation with the player where die, even a party office now, bow, all right? See what it could be done, mm -hmm. at the very least, for heal the wounds, and let we move forward and be a better Sierra Leone. This is your last time, Papa. Do your best for live an enduring legacy. All right. Which I will look back and be proud of you, Mr. President. All right, thank you very much. God bless Sierra Leone. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much. Um, firstly, somebody talk about this aggregated data. Mm -hmm. I want to address the issue. It's an issue where even international observers that always, you know, election is conducted under the guise of the law. And the law will guide the electionary process and certification of results. No give any provision for let ECSL publish this aggregated data. That's the OTC in section 52. He said the national returning officer shall, after declaring the presidential election, and they go to paragraph this state. He said, as soon as possible, cause the results of the election to be published by notice in the Gazette and in any other manner that he may think fit. So there is no provision in this one. So the discussion is on the national. The discussion is on the national returning officer if one publishes disaggregated right. or not. But like where I should say, that one day, na lakuna over there na the 2012 Public Election Act. I think that be section 54. We we'll just take a verbat in the caputa back now. So we can look at that one day and create additional buffer for see how some part of observation and they will be announced because the 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 the, the reenactment or. The, 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 the revamping of the PR now as a result of other election observation from EU and all. The second thing, we get for do tabulation. I have not seen any EU reports in this country election. We don't see tabulation process, eh, 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 they, don't, they don't get problem. They all. Even the Huawei Christian at top conduct. Why is the quarantine 400 and something police station? The national election officer on your own determined for going at the quarantine and put certain police station they add up to the results and call it presidential elections. It was part of their report that said that tabulation process is not correct. So this is now all thing they are going for enhance. Now, I have seen Rashid continuously don't they make reference to they were going to change the law. Mm -hmm. If the law flaw faulty, we have to amend it. So if APC no allow change the law, then they can look and discuss. Otherwise, we are going to do things with the constitution way require. <laughs> Yes, let us be plain and, fact, and factual. <laughs> we are going to do things to, in the constitution we will make progress in a salon. <laughs> so if things are progressive, if APC thinks they are going to support them, let them come, let's do it together. Mm. Or let them come, let them uh, 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 get their voice for the Sierra Leoneans to be heard. Mm. So that the provision on two thirds or simple majority or majority of members present will reflect them. Otherwise, majority now, the 96, mm. 95, APC, I mean, SLPP and the PCMP plus Mamie Bangura make 96. So, if we want to do anything, we can follow the Constitution. We do it because at the end of the day, we action cannot be invalidated by their absence as qualified by Section 94.3. So, if Namina them, we find a word, why I don't see it. Now, for continue to encourage the local law candidates, but otherwise, hey. <laughs> but, 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 I was not born. <laughs> but this 2023, Women are adults, member of parliament. We APC get a chance for Carlo can discuss. If they don't come, <laughs> opposition. No, left, 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 Yes, very interesting. <laughs> you see, <clears throat> the, the other arguments probably we 
don't be advanced by APC in terms of uh, the concerns. Mm -hmm. I'll go reference um, 51 2. Of which law? The Constitution the, or the Public Elections Act? No, the Le Public Elections Election Act. Act. Okay. Um, up till now, there's this concern about the certified results. They say as soon as possible after receipt of the results of the counting of votes under sec <laughs> subsection 1, the return official shall tally and compute the results certified to him by the various presiding officers mm -hmm. and shall after that declare the result of the election. Up to, in fact, there was this, um, probably it was a leak tape, mm -hmm. the argument between the Commission and at the Northwest, mm -hmm. and um, what's, the, what's his name of this politician, Kemosi, say mm -hmm. that the results were not even certified, but they were announced. So we have all of those tension. Of course, you see the legal battle. MPC cannot pursue that front anymore mm -hmm. because the time will expire. They say you get ten when you suppose for um, going to court yeah. and get the 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 what's it called. A petition mm -hmm. for saying you don't agree with the presidential result. That, that thing will expire. So for now, what can be done is a political settlement, and let them not shy away from that. The game, now so you can play. The time can you face <coughs> up with reality and not say this has happened. Mm -hmm. We've missed our chance, mm -hmm. and we not ask anybody in this country for take the law into your hands anymore. In as much as we also not encourage any form of arbitrariness, mm -hmm. but um. Uh, the, the, the one that will send message, then reference the judiciary. For me, the judiciary is a very key player. And I can always, <clears throat> when I talk about the judiciary, refer to a line from one of the, the characters. Now, a movie relates to this country, the Amistad Revolt. Mm -hmm. After the court in America don't rule in favor of the, 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 the slaves, them, the Spanish government had interest in this cargo will come. But the American government, through the courts, don't say the people are not they're, they're for free. And the Secretary of State then visited the Spanish Queen, and they were in conversation. And the Spanish Queen said, how can you say you are, you are a government and you are in control, and you're not in control of the judiciary? What This was the response of the Secretary of State. Now, a theme, but the message very interesting and it speaks to the situation for make we also appeal to uh, uh, with judiciary. Mm -hmm. That's the last hope for democracy. And this mm -hmm. was the response of the Secretary of State. He said, <coughs> the autonomy of the judiciary or its independence now make people again in freedom in America. So we will never tamper with that, no matter what it happens. Mm -hmm. So I appeal to our brothers and sisters who don't commit themselves to that old state and they serve in the judiciary as being part of the bench or the bar, a lot depends on you. Make sure say una dispense justice without fear or favor. The law, when it be supreme, that society day in freedom is assured. Mm. Because even we country, we motto in section six of the constitution, what is speak to the um, <clears throat> political objective of the state. It's all about unity, freedom, and justice. Justice now in the last. Mm -hmm. But you know what it means? It is the foundation for freedom, and freedom is the foundation for unity. All of the talks so we will constantly get challenged in terms of being united, in terms of being peaceful. Check the issue of freedom, check the issue of justice. Now you under the challenge day. If we address and from that point day, from justice to freedom, unity becomes a byproduct of those two things. Mm -hmm. And in fact, somebody say, he said, there is no peace without justice. It might be a cliche now, mm -hmm. but let's, let's take note, Sierra Leoneans. We are all members of the same family. Let's put aside our differences. Mm -hmm. Let's embrace each other, but let it be on the foundation of truth. The, uh, um, what is right, trust, mm -hmm. and of course, justice. All right. These things will help us. They will make us move forward. Don't forget, for the last 62 years, we've been struggling over so many, many things. We will not continue for delay the process for push we continue to go before. We will make sure say, we try for ill the wounds them where they are around.
Thank you and God bless you. All right, plenty thank you to you, Reverend Jubila Kago, Communications Director for National Commission for Democracy. Plenty thank you to Honorable Ibrahim Tawa Conte, who represents the Urban District for VSLPP. And plenty thank you to Lawyer Rashid Umbuya, Executive Director for Legal Link. Um, it's been a pleasure, um, gentlemen. Thank you very much for being part of the conversation tonight. And many thanks to those of you who watched us on Channel 43, on um, the STV Channel 399, those of you who listened to us on um, Radio FM 11.7, and those of you who followed us on all our different social media platforms, especially those of you who contributed. Um, now the show on we AYV News Facebook page. <laughs> plenty, plenty. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Until we come, until we come again next week with the um, fresh edition of the show. The show has been AYV on Sunday. My name is Samuel Wise Bangwan. Up next is our AYV Primetime News. Until next, until then, take care of yourself and have a lovely.